up you guys it's future nice k here in today's video as you guys can tell by the title i'm going to be teaching you how to ace your nursing exams so if you're interested on how to ace your nursing exams then please keep on watching all right so i have five maybe six different ways that i have been strategies that i have been using in order to ace my nursing exams and when i'm telling you guys ace i mean ace like i mean Oh, I be kind of making B's. I made a couple of C's. Um, but when I started doing these strategies right here, what I'm about to tell you guys today, I is my <laughs> first nursing exam. So I'm gonna share the tips that I did with. Uh, so I'm gonna share my tips that I did with you guys. So tip number one: find you one simple study habit. I know it sounds crazy. I know you're like, it's so much stuff to do. It's like different ways, so many different ways to study. Blah, 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 blah. Find you one nursing strategy. Oh, nursing strategy. One strategy that you like and continue to study that way. Because one mistake that I was making when I first came into nursing school was I was doing too many things trying to study. I was doing flashcards. I was making my own study guides. I was looking at the PowerPoints. And I was highlighting the book. I was doing so much, like, everything was in a line. Like, okay, I got to make my flashcards. Okay, I got to make my PowerPoint. Okay, I got to make my study guide. And I was doing all that. And all of that took up until, like, what I say, two days before the test. And then two days before the test, I'm trying to study. When I could have just picked one of those habits, which was maybe the study guide. And what was really been helping for me is just literally reading the book I know that's crazy a lot of people don't use that strategy I literally highlight my teacher saying the book and I go back and reread it 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 and that is how I have been um studying but anyways that's what I've been sticking to when you have too much when you test oriented and you have too much that you try to do you're never going to get anything done because you're going to be too focused on doing things than more so focused on studying the second tip that I would like to give you guys is mass lows hierarchy this is definitely a tip to help you guys when you test take it number one thing you need to know Maslow's hierarchy because that's always going to be in nursing school. It's always going to be that pyramid. So as long as you remember that pyramid, you'll be able to answer like critical test questions because you always know that it's always going to be that patient's need. If they're hungry, feed them. If they're in pain, treat the pain. If they can't breathe, We gotta find a way to make them breathe. So you always make sure that you know Maslow's hierarchy. So it's gonna tell you because if you haven't noticed already, when you're taking your um, um nursing test, all of the answers are pretty much right. It's probably the one that's just like out of the ballpark, but the other three are pretty much right. But you have to find out what's most right. And the way that I've been doing that is following Maslow's hierarchy. If you know what you need to do first, so if your patient can't breathe. You need to make sure that you focus on that first. If your patient is in pain, you're not going to educate them on anything before you you solve them being in pain. Because if I'm in pain, I'm not trying to hear what you're talking about. I want you to stop my pain and then come and talk to me about what you got to talk about. So the third tip that I would give you guys is I don't have my book with me. Um, it's actually in my car because I keep it in my car. But in Clix chapter 4, I will insert a picture of the book right here. In Clix chapter 4, will definitely, you guys, if you don't have this book, this edition, you need this book. Because it definitely tells you guys how to test tape. It tells you pretty much what the test is going to be asking you. Not exactly word for word, but like, pretty much it gives you an idea of how the questions are going to be worded. So I know I was, um having a hard time deciphering what questions were asking me on the nursing exam like I'm like okay so what are they asking me and whenever I read this it was easier for me to understand exactly what they were asking me what they were looking for and it teaches you how to take everything that's important out uh, because if you guys notice a lot of your nursing tests are going to throw you so much extra information and you have to know how to wean out what's important and what's not important. You also have to know how to prioritize. 
I mean, that could have been a bullet point, but that kind of falls along with Maslow's hierarchy of needs in this. Like, it teaches you, you know, how to answer test questions, even if you don't know if it's a test question about a drug and you don't know the drug. It tells you how to take context clues to know what it's asking you and whatever. So, I would definitely definitely recommend getting this book i will have a link down below it is on amazon and you can order it so the fourth tip that i would give you guys is something that is kind of like a three-part strategy but it is definitely useful and this is the main thing this is the main thing that i have been using when i test tape because it has been plenty of times that i have no idea what that test question was asking me but when i did this i put it together so the first part is define you're going to define what the question is asking you like if it's asking you about a specific drug or if it's asking you about diabetes or disease process you're going to ask yourself okay so if it says this person had a mi myocardial infarction what is that okay you know it's a heart attack the next thing you're going to do is why is this important why is it important that you address a mi you, everybody knows why it's important to be able to <laughs> decipher if your patient is having a heart attack. Like, they could die. So you're like, okay, that is something that is serious. So if your patient comes in with the abnormal EKG, they're saying, hey, they have an acute MI. And then, but they're saying, oh, my foot really hurts. What are you going to take care of first? The heart attack or the pain on their foot? <laughs> Definitely the heart attack. And then the third part is, how is this related to what we are learning in class. So, I do, whenever I'm reading my test, I define what the test question is asking me. I um, ask myself, why is this important? Like, why do I care? Why, why should I care if this is happening to my patient? And the third process is, how is it relating to what we're learning in class? Because you like that goes along with a lot of not feeding into a question. Because it's a lot of times where I don't miss the question because it was talking about a specific drug. And I'm like, I don't know this drug. But then when I read the reread the question and we go over it in class, I'm like, it wasn't even worried about the drug. Like the drug was extra information. But it said something about um MI. So I know that we would need a troponin. So I should have picked troponin. So that has definitely helped me break down my test questions into a three-part process and if you guys want a separate video on that and how i do it more in depth then i would definitely have that for you guys so the fifth and final tip that i can give you guys i can write a book about how many tips or what i have been using but the fifth and final tip that i can give you guys is to know the body systems i know i know probably like girl it is too late but if we're talking about diseases of the respiratory tract or we're talking about diseases of the heart or we're talking about diseases of the brain then it would definitely you can't understand the disease process and how the disease process works until you understand how understand how your heart or how your brain or how your lungs are normally functioning so if your teacher says oh I listen to this patient this patient has crackling if you don't know that crackling is not supposed to be there then you might have listened to that patient and just was like oh and never thought anything was wrong with that patient so I can say human anatomy is, is good to have human anatomy human anatomy and medical terminology was I mean you have to take human anatomy but definitely human anatomy and medical terminology and pathophysiology is another class that I took that is not required for a lot of different programs and I know human anatomy too isn't required for a lot of different programs but I took all all of those classes and I mean when I tell you it's really helping me out in understanding um how different disease processes work knowing the body system like the regular way you will understand like why this disease process is happening and what is causing it and you'll just be able to understand it better overall all right so this is oh my gosh it's probably too bright but this is an example of how i learned normal this is the respiratory system and then this is the cardiovascular system so 
I went on to YouTube. Um, I also have the nervous system. I'm sorry if it's too bright, y'all. So basically, um, I went on to these. I have the urinary system. Ah! And um, I also started on the sensory neurons and different stuff, like trying to break stuff into specifics. And I never got a chance to finish doing that. And that is why I'm having trouble with this right now. Because all of the other ones, I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then this one, the one that I didn't learn the normal way, I'm definitely having trouble with different disease processes. So I can definitely say knowing the regular function of the heart, regular function of the lungs definitely help when they start talking about, oh yeah, what's wrong with this person or this person's heart is doing this, what's wrong with it? Like, if you don't know the regular way, you're not going to know what's wrong with it. Um, but yeah, I would definitely have the links down below of um, the videos that I got this from. And if you guys want pictures of this, if you send me my, your email, I will definitely send it to you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. That was the five ways that I have been acing my nursing exams. Well, I only ace one, but I promise you, when I ace the other one, I'm going to come in the comment section and be like, I aced it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that bell, comment, like, subscribe, share, tell a friend of a friend, and peace.